Hello, it's Adam from Adam's Mockups. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a clean website for your clothing brand on Shopify in 2024. Now you might have gone onto Shopify already and tried to create your store with one of the free Shopify themes, but realized that it looks like this. Now in 2024, you want to match a certain aesthetic with your website, which is why I developed my own Shopify theme from scratch, Adam's Shopify theme for clothing brands, which I will be using in today's video. And you can download from the link in the description on my website. It's made for beginners to use, so you don't need any experience. And I'm going to set it up right now and walk you through it all step by step. So first you just wanna open up any web browser in any sort of computer and just go straight to shopify.com and press enter. So it's free to start with and then it's $1 every month. So it is basically free for the first four months and then I believe the price goes up. But for now you can do it all for free. So you just wanna press start free trial, go through all the steps until you reach your dashboard. And once you're inside your dashboard, it's just gonna look like this blank dashboard. And I'm gonna press online store to start customizing my store. So I've already got this one installed, but I'm gonna start from fresh. So imagine this is all blank and you just press add theme and upload zip file. Once this box comes up, you just want to get your Adam Shopify theme zip file and drag it straight into here and upload file. Super simple. And it's gonna download in a few seconds, just like this. And you wanna press customize and start customizing. So while it looks blank, it comes together very quickly once you start customizing. So this bit is called a menu. So this is a menu. You can see it on the right here, main menu. If you press change and change menu, you can change this to a different menu. So currently we only have one menu and that's this one. If I were to press create menu, this little blue button here, then it's going to take me into the menu settings. If I just go back once, then I can see my three menus here. If you prefer this style of enter page with just the enter button, which takes you to the website, then you just want to press add menu, do a square bracket, open and close like so, enter, press add menu item, just type the enter again and have this go to the collection that you want to open first. So say I'm gonna open the jackets tab first, then I'm gonna press save menu. And if I go back into here, I can now go change menu again and select my enter menu. I'm gonna make it bigger and I'm gonna add my logo. So I'm gonna use this Chrome Hearts logo with the spinning Chrome Hearts logo and here is just top or bottom logo position. I would just recommend going through all of these options and having a look because there's so many features that we're not going to talk about that you can choose like underline links on hover. I like to have this enabled. You can enable a glow so it's glowing automatically on and off or just glow on hover as well as changing the color for this. So you can change the color for that. And then here to the left you want to press this little theme settings button and this is where all of the settings for the theme are. So the site settings, the fonts, fav icon, which is just this little image here, your loading screen, all of these options, but we'll go through them one by one. But as for main background image, I'm just going to do select image and I'm going to go into the background GIFs folder that you downloaded with the Adams theme and I'm just going to pick a background. and you wanna to navigate to products and start adding all of your items. So as you can see here, I have added all of the pieces of clothing one by one, just given them all a name, added the images. To add a product, you just press this add product button in the top right and go through and add all of the details. So I've added my title, leather fluffy zip up. I've added my images. Now for your images, for your product images, you can do any style of product image you want, but I like to do the transparent background like this, where I have cut out the background so that my items are displayed nice and clean on my website. All you need to do is just Google remove background tool and any of these free tools will do it for you. So you just upload the image and it will get rid of the background or you can go to photop 
artboard.com. Press new project. Create your artboard. Make sure it is square so that there's not any excess space around your product image. Drag in the product that you want to cut the background off. Select this little wand tool here. Select your background and you can just press delete. You actually just need to right click this and press rasterize and then you can delete. There we go. And you just hide the background. And as you can see, I have a transparent background. And as for the glow, the website does that all for you. So you don't need to worry about any of that. Now I just export, export as PNG and upload to my Shopify. Next, you wanna set your price. So this is the price that you're gonna sell it at. And then here you have your cost per item. So this is how much the piece of clothing costs you to make. And Shopify will figure out all of your profit margins. In inventory, you want to select trap quantity and input how much stock you have of each item. So say I have 10 of these on hand available, then I'm just gonna set that to 10. Shipping. I'm gonna say this is a physical product and you just wanna weigh your product and put the weight in here. And finally, you wanna add any variants, so any sizes or styles, any options that the customer can select. So for size, I'm just gonna do extra, small, small, medium, large, and extra large. And here you can set your quantities. So I'm just gonna do two, 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 four. Or I'll probably do four of the medium because that's the most popular size. And then just press save. Then finally, you just want to do your description. So I'm just gonna set this to say premium leather, authentic interior, fur designed by Palace, all sales final. And I'm just gonna select this. I'm gonna set it to heading one. I'm gonna make all of the text white so it's easy to see with my dark background. If it doesn't do it first time, just do it again. There we go. And set all sales final to red. If I press save, I can press this preview button and I can preview how that's gonna look on my store. You wanna press this little sort button here and just set it to manually and then you can arrange the order if you would like to arrange the order or you could set it to best selling or any of these. It's also worth mentioning you can put all your items into a collection and just have all your items on one page which is what a lot of stores do or you can put it in categories like this. And we'll dive into the pages. So once you jump into one of your pages, you're gonna see you've got a blank header. This is all very small. It looks looks a bit strange but you just got to play around with it a little bit so go into your theme settings I'm gonna set my content width all the way to 2000 and if I select my box I can change the columns I'm gonna do four columns I'm gonna continue editing this in a second but I'm gonna do my header I'm just going to add my logo over here to my header and you can decide whether you want them in a row to the left here or you want them stacked. I think I'm gonna have them stacked, but I'm gonna make my font larger. Now, if you decide that you want two different backgrounds and you want this background to be different from the enter page, then you can just click in here and up here is a box to set a background just for the home page or the enter page. And then we'll move into the product page and set the main background to something else. So this is what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna check underline links on hover and I'm also going to have my glow on hover. For now, I'm just gonna hide this title. For now, I'm just gonna hide this little title by going into this sections tab and just hiding the title in the middle section. I'm gonna make all the product names. I'm actually, I was gonna make them larger, but yeah, I'm gonna make them, gonna make them larger, but I'm gonna keep my price small. You can either do show second image on hover, which will show the second image when you hover over your item, or you can do zoom image on hover, which will just zoom your garments once you hover over them. I'm gonna set this to five columns. Now say you want to add another section here, you want to place a YouTube video or you want to place some empty space or you want to place a title, a heading, anything like that. You just want to hover over here, press add section and you've got a bunch of sections here that you can add to your website. So I'm gonna add a YouTube video. You can also add sections here. It can be a bit easier than finding the little plus symbol. I'm gonna press add section 
section I'm going to add a divider which is literally just some empty space and I'm going to move that below my YouTube video just to create a little bit of gap and you can adjust the padding here I'm just going to go on the Palace YouTube channel and find a YouTube video for the center of my website now you might have this problem where you're seeing that the thumbnail isn't coming up all you have to do to fix this is go to your link find the and symbol the little and plus I don't I think it's and and select the and symbol and everything after it press delete and there you go it's fixed just like that and say this is in the way and I'm not liking this then I can just move it below move the divider as well and there we go if I go into my mobile tab you can see it's all a bit cluttered in the mobile tab so I'm just going to set the mobile columns to two and there we go that's looking nicer you can even set them to one and have them all just laid out like this but that is up to you when I select my different tabs you can see this loading screen here this is just inside loading screen I'm going to select image I'm going to go for this image again and you can change a bunch of details such as make it fade like so make it slide slide up the screen change the duration the color the text color everything like that this is the same for all of the details on the site there's a bunch of customizable options but you can check it out all for yourself in full in here i'm going to change my cursor to this to my logo so now you can see my little cursor is the P with the dragon and the loading screen is also how I wanted it I think I might change this to row because I don't really like how much space that was taking up and there we are in here you can change all of the colors of the cart sidebar I like to have it black with white text like so I think that looks clean but it's up to you and then if I press checkout now I can customize my checkout so I just go into the checkout tab I'm gonna leave the background image I'm just gonna have it as a color for the logo I'm gonna use this logo again I'm gonna make it large I don't know why this isn't updating in real time but I'm having to refresh for it to update that's a Shopify problem because this is the first time this has happened but I'm gonna set this to transparent and I'm gonna change the color of my buttons to some brighter colors. I press save and I just refresh. I want this logo at the top to be large as well. And there we are, there's our checkout. If I go back to my store, then I can look at one of my product pages like so. Currently it's on carousel, but I'm gonna set it to stacked like this. If I were to add a video to this product and add from URL, you don't need to get rid of the stuff after the plus on this one. And I press add file. I like to put my video second. Then if I just refresh, you'll see your video here. And here you can change all the settings for your button. So you can make it sharp, change all the colors, change the speed of the fade and all of that stuff. And the final feature that we're gonna look at in this video is the password page. So if you click up here and just type in password, then you can go to the password page. Just click this one here. If you know about having a password for your drop, you know how well this method can perform. It's all about keeping your website locked, keeping it limited and building your email list. If you press contact, it has the name and the email. You can see here, if I just fill this in and I press submit, then it now says thank you for your contact and that has been added to our list of customers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'm gonna be making clothing brand videos all year long, so make sure to press subscribe and and leave any comments if you've got any questions leave them in the comments or send me a dm and i will reply